Let's talk about pursed lip breathing and why our bodies do this. Here I am, once again, fighting for my life. I think I just said farting. I meant to say fighting for my life after a cardio session. I would much rather lift, but lately when I put my flight suit on, it's like putting 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack, so I gotta do something. And that means not so much and a lot more running. But I just got done with two miles which I know isn't much for some of you. And I'm pursed lip breathing. What kind of patience do we see pursed lip breathing in? Thank you, lady, for yakking in the middle of the video. We see it in our hypercarpic respiratory failure patients, our COPDers, our asthmatics that are breath stacking. And right now, I am hypercarpic. That's why you huff and puff when you do cardio. It's not because you're hungry for more oxygen. Your body is really efficient at bringing a lot of oxygen on and loading it up on the hemoglobin. But why we're blowing is our bodies crave minute ventilation because we're producing so much CO2 by running, biking, going up the fourth floor stairs up to the pharmacy, whatever. And so our body is trying to clear that CO2. And when we do pursed lip breathing, it extends that expiratory phase and allows us to get more of that CO2 out before we take in a fresh breath. So you'll see it in patients who just got done with cardio, but you're also going to see it in those hypercarbic respiratory failure. And what we can do to help those patients is allow them to have a position of comfort. Don't you dare leave them on the cot flat on their back because then their bellies, because we're all Americans and we have big bellies, impede the, the movement of that diaphragm. And so we need to put them up in a position of comfort and let them maintain their ventilatory effort. And if, if you have to intubate these patients and mechanically ventilate them, you want to give them a nice long expiratory phase so that you can facilitate clearing all of that CO2 that these patients have built up. So there you have it. Go out and go for a run if you've got a nice weather as we do here in the Midwest.